So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound and here I am back with another brand new update regarding the heart of our first event. So first of all if you are new to this channel do like the video and just subscribe the channel. So basically heart of our first you must be knowing that it is a month long event and basically many of you are asking about how we can claim the swag. So for that also I made a video you can watch this video. I will link the video in the description how you can redeem your heart of our first swag and what are the criteria. Now let's move to the main topic. So basically here, just like Hacktober Fest, AppRite is just organizing a new hackathon. Here basically, you'll deploy some apps and get exciting goodies. Here is the AppRite swag kit. So here basically, if you are a beginner, do not worry, everything will be covered in this video. So let's come over here. Just like Hacktober Fest, as I said earlier, it is just a individual hackathon designed by AppRite. So if you have won the Hacktober Fest swags, then also you'll be getting AppRite swags if it qualifies. So let's discover it. First of all, you need a GitHub account to get registered. We'll talk about it, how you can register it and how you can sign it. First of all, here you can see the start date is of 1st of October and will be ending on 31st of October. So you still have time. So you can just start it. Now here are some cool, amazing prizes. So here you can see we have customized hoodies, mask pad, t-shirt, stickers. In the customized hoodie, Basically, you can write any name, you can use your GitHub name also, username also. Like this, you can customize. This is for the winners. Okay, now here you can see AppRite Swag Kit will be awarded to the top 5 projects. So, you need to make sure your project is worthy enough. Now, here are some hackathon rules you need to understand before you participate in this hackathon. So, basically, all projects should be built from scratch. Scratch means from zero to the top. So, basically, many people try to just complete the projects from the initial step only. Basically, they have pre-existing projects. They just push the projects at the last moment and mostly this is built already. So, you need to avoid this and all projects should be made during the hackathon timeline. That is from 1st of October till 31st of October as they have mentioned over here. Yes, till 31st of October. Apart from this, there is a team size limit. So Teams can have one member only. So basically, hackers are allowed to use AI assistance. So you can use the help of, take the help from ChatGPT, Gemini AI, like this you can take help. And basically, you have to build some projects with the app rights also. Basically, you need to use any one of the app right product, whether you are using authentication, or its database, or storage, or messaging functional. All these things you can just check it out. Here is the URL. You can just open it and just check the rules for qualifying nature. Basically, there will be a panel of judges who will be judging your project, whatever you build. Now here, submission deadlines. So basically, all projects must be submitted by the final deadline. So when is the final deadline? Basically, 31st of October. So you need to make sure you submit before and only. As soon as you are able to submit, it is better. Now here, let's come to the common FAQs uh, that what are the exact dates from the hackathon? So basically, the hackathon starts from 12 a.m. UTC, 1st of October and will be ending on 11.59 p.m. UTC on 31st of August. Sorry, 31st of October. So if you are having confusion regarding the UTC, so you can just check. You can convert it also. So here you can see it's showing UTC is 4.50. Current its universal time is 4.25.27 p.m. And in Indian standard time, it's 9.57, which is current time. So like this, you have to just check it the timeline. And if you are submitting before 31st of basically October, then it's no need to worry. Who can participate? Here, there is no limit. Anyone passionate about coding, designing, problem solving is welcome. Basically, whether you are a beginner or a pro, you can just take part in this hackathon. And basically, the themes. Is there any specific theme? Like for many hackathons, we have theme like we have to build regarding healthcare, finance, etc. So there is no limit. You can build anything, whatever you are having. You can take help from the AI also, or you can take help from your groups also. Now here are AI tools and LLMs allowed. So yes, you can use it. There is no issue apart from this, the judging criteria. 
Projects will be judged on the base of impact of idea, creativity, design, technical execution, and basically the usage of upright. Basically, what are the services you are using from the upright itself? So this will be the judging criteria for this hackathon. So is it mandatory to use upright products? So basically, yes, you need to use at least one upright product, whether you are using it for authorization, authentication or user for database, storage, etc. You need to use it. And you have to deploy your projects on the upright sites to qualify for judging. All these things are mentioned over here. We will talk about it also. So can you use pre-built libraries? So yes, you can use pre-built open source libraries. Okay, you can use like they have mentioned all these things. So here your projects. So will your project be open source? Basically, here they want to say that you should make your public, basically the repository should be public. You cannot submit the private repository. So make sure to make your public repository. For being the hackathon, you can work on a private repository. You can upgrade or just change the privacy settings before submission. And you can just cross check whether it is public or not. After that, how many projects you can submit? So basically there is no upper limit. You can have hundreds of projects also, but Always remember quality is the key. So submit only valid and genuine projects. So here. So here if you are underage, basically many of the participants are underage too. Like they are lesser than 18 years of age. So can they part? Yes, you can part. take part in it and must have parents or guardian consent. Basically, if you win the prizes, they may ask for the parents detail or basically a letter of order authorization basically signature and permission it's normal it's very easy you need not to worry about it now here if you have any queries like if you want to understand how to use the upright or whether you are just new want to explore the projects etc how to reach the right people basically if you have any query you can comment down below so i'll try to help you also there is no issue but for specific issues regarding the app right you can contact the official team also here is their discord server you have to just join your discord server what is discord server just like we have telegram instagram it is just a social media platform basically based for developers but many people use it you have to just create an account it's simple you have to just create an account like you can use your personal account also or you can use a new account for this hackathon also there is no issue it's normal sign in based or sign up based just use a google credential or sign up using the normal email address id so this is the main thing i wanted to share now the sign in method sign in method is of github if you don't know about github you have to just come over here to the search box and just type github.com and then you have to just sign up and just create an account and come over here and just sign in. Here basically when you click on signing, here it will ask them for some permissions. Basically it will ask to authorize yourself and just after that you'll be able to just complete these projects also. So make sure to check it out. Apart from this, if you have any query, you can let me know in the comment section. All this study jam, if you have participated in the cloud study jam, you can check it out also. Apart from this, if you want to participate in the Salesforce challenge, here is the Salesforce challenge too. And the Hacktober Fest challenge too. All these videos playlists will be live, basically present on the description box of this channel. And if you are completing arcade skill badges, do check the master sheet. And that's all about this video. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Have a great day.